A Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. It's the Brova Yara Ya from the GMS Italia camp. And I just wanted to do a quick one regarding this article. And before I start, I would like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Ruka Kodash. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS who taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around four corners of the earth, risking their lives and walking in this vine in his last days to push this truth. Shalom. So, as you all know, I already did a, a lesson, you know, a couple of days ago, you know, sharing the updates with Italy. And, you know, this is a this is an article from Euro News. And as you can see, Italy first in Europe to require all employees to have the sea health pass. Okay. And this is really spiritual because, you know, according to the to the to the vision of Daniel, you know, the the vision that um King Nebuchadnezzar had, you know, that's the statue with the head of gold which represents the, the, the Babylonian Empire. Then you have um the chest of the chest of um, silver, okay, which represents um, the Medio Persian Empire. Then you have um, the body of bronze, which represented um, Alexander, Alexander the, the, the creep, okay, <laughs> Alexander, okay, Alexander the so called Alexander the Great. Then you have um, the legs of iron, okay, then you have the feet of iron mixed with clay. So I'm just paraphrasing, I don't, that's not really what I want to go into. But you can see that the iron is still mixed with the clay. And we are actually at the last dispensation, which is the feet, which is the iron mixed with clay. That's the kingdom we're actually living now. So, you know, um, the Roman Empire is still always mixed into this, this empire that we're living. As a matter of fact, this empire that we're living is, is a camouflage, but it is actually the Roman Empire of the past. Okay, so there are lots of videos work that are going to explain this. You know, I just saw how spiritual it was that it needed to start from, you know, Italy first. So this is not really the, the thing I want to I want to go into. You know, I just wanted to, you know, edify the brothers saying that here in Italy, you know, things are really getting the devils are started showing their horns, you know. They don't really care anymore and you know people are really complying. Because here in Italy, there is this spirit that, you know, your job, your life, you know. So, people would definitely want to stick to their jobs, you know, and they will just rush down. As a matter of fact, you know, they said people, ever since they made this decree, you know, people just, you know, started booking to get the, the Vanessa juice, the serpent juice. You know, people booked a lot and you see the numbers just increased people taking it and people going to book for it you know because these people they don't they don't they don't see they don't have they don't have a deeper vision you know they don't see through what we are seeing that's why the most high yahaba shem Shai has given us a privilege to know this truth you know so definitely i and the akiams here you know we're, we're really ready to 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 lose everything for this truth you know because this is the spirits you need to have you know, and we're saying this because, you know, this same thing is coming to meet you wherever you are. You know, we've seen them making these different proclaims in different countries, also in in countries in Africa like Nigeria. You know, that these decrees are going, you know, it's the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai that is doing this, you know. Very soon it's going to get to Babylon the Great. Very soon it's going, it's also going to get to all the rest of the, of, of the European countries, you know. So it's the Most High doing this, and this is a test for each one of us, you know. This is the time the Most High is testing us to see what we are actually made of. Like, what do we want to choose? Do we rather choose to 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 continue and have, you know, the illusion of, you know, of, of peace and rest in this kingdom, or our heart is actually set above in the kingdom to come? So this is going to be like a sort of um of um exhortation to the to the Akiams, you know, because this thing is coming also to you, you know. And those who are going to fall victim, like I said, here in Italy are those who are actually holding strong to their jobs, you know. Uh, they 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 don't see they don't see other than that, you know. 
and this is not the spirit to have i'm going to start from reading you know the book of um ecclesiasticus now let's get it like this i think it's okay here we apocrypha okay this is the book of ecclesiasticus chapter 2 you know it's uh, a famous one chapter 2 verse 2 verse 10 excuse me so now this is the book of ecclesiasticus chapter 2 verse 10 it says look this music is crazy i don't really like it look at the generations of hold and see did ever any trust in the lord yahabah shem yahushai and was confounded or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken or whom did he ever despise that called upon him so now this is the time we really need to put our our spirit mode on man you know our spirit mode because the most i that that's it needs you to, it needs you to put all your hope and trust in him man Yahweh Shai taught us not to think of what we're going to eat tomorrow, what we're going to wear, you know. The Most High is going to take care of us, man. And this is what this is this is what makes the difference between those who have this truth and those who don't have this truth, you know. Those who don't have this truth, they're scared. They, 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 they're scared of, of what they're going to eat, how they're going to live, how they're going to pay their rent, you know. But if you're actually in the spirit and you're walking according to this truth, you should be ready to, to give up everything, man. Because this is exactly what happened during the time of um, Daniel, you know, when um, they were asked to bow before the, the statue, okay, of the king. They refused to bow. And what happened? They took them to, 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 to a furnace, you know, they put them into a burning fire, you know. But what happened? The Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai saved them from that. The Most High is mighty to save, you know. If you have the fear of the Most High and you know what the Most High is capable of doing, then you wouldn't worry about all these things. Because, you know, this is the real test and this real test is coming, you know. It's easy to say I'm in the truth. It's easy to go out there to teach. But when the test comes, that, that's, when, that's when, you know, we're going to know who really are the people that are following the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. You know, are you ready to lose everything? You know, are you ready to carry your cross, lose everything and, 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 and walk the walk, man? You know, nothing easy comes without, 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 without struggle, man. So as you can see, it says, look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahushai, and was confounded? Or did any ab abide in his fear and was forsaken, you know? No one, that's the question, but there is no one who ever trusts the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai and abide in his ways and his fears and they were, they were confounded. No, none. So this is, the, this is the faith we need to have and this is the spirit we're actually going through, you know. We've been trying our best, you know, to, you know, to save us some things, you know, because, you know, once this, once this um, decree pops up from the 15th of um, October, you have five days to to be online with them because after five days if you pre present yourself at work what happens is you know um the, the, your your boss has the right to stop you and you're going also going to get fines you know and once they stop you you don't get any benefit you know so we are actually in that straight you know this is the end of the of of the marathon you know if you're running a marathon if you ever run in a marathon you see that at the beginning you have enough enough strength but when you get in towards the ending you know you start losing strength you know but what carries you if you want to be successful it's courage and um determination we need to be determined in this in this fate of ours then so now let's get another scripture this is the book of um deuteronomy 31 and 8 
This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 31, verse 8. And the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, it is, it is that dots go before thee. Okay, it's the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahushai that goes before us. You know, he will be with thee, he will not fail thee, neither forsake thee. Fear not, neither be dismayed. You know, this is not the time you should be having that spirit of fear. How am I going to feed? How am I going to take care of myself? How am I going to do this? How am I going to do that, man? This is the time to act wisely, man. You know, just like the book of um, Ephesians, is it 5? Um, Ephesians 5.15, you know, it says, you know, I'm just paraphrasing. I don't want to go into it. You know, he said we should redeem the time. We should walk as wise men and not as fools, man. We should redeem the time. This is the advantage of having this truth. We already know what's about to come. So we prepare ourselves the best way we can. Then the rest, the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai will take, will take control, man. So at the point that most of these people, they needed... um. They needed help from the Most High. The Most High is always there to give them help, man. So, man, y'all, y'all really need to to start building, praying for the Most High, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh to give you the spirits to be able to stand these days. Overall, y'all need to be praying that the Most High, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh should give you the spirits, okay, to refuse to bow, just like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego they did. They refused to bow, and now. That form of that image is this Vanessa juice, you know. The serpent serum, you know. We should pray the most high gives us that spirit to be able to stand strong as men, you know. Because at the end of the day, you might just, you know, you might get this, you know, get some short time. You you might uh, you might comply to this, you know, take the serpent serum, in which the scriptures let us understand that we should not trust our enemy. For as iron rusted, so is his wickedness. You know, you might take this for some cup for some couple of months or so. You know, to just keep you know getting your pay and keeping your house and all that stuff. You know, then all of a sudden, death's still going to come, man. Death is still going to come, and it's a terrible thing to fall into the hands of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai. So it's better to fear the Most High, you know. And forsake every damn thing that is attaching you to this place, man. Because there is nothing as big as what's coming our way, man. The scripture says, eyes have not seen, neither ears have heard. You know, I'm just paraphrasing. Eyes have not seen, neither ears have heard. That's which the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh has promised to those who love Him and keep His commandments and do according to His will, man. There is nothing here compared to what's there is nothing here compared to what the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh is going to give us. It is said that Yahweh is going to give us, you know, these crowns, you know, crowns, you know, we'll get a crown from the hands of Yahweh Shai. We're going to rule over nations, man. All those who have taken us captives, who are perpet perpetuating all this evil and wickedness, they are all going to get under us, man. So what's what's here to what there is nothing in this kingdom, man. Everything is already dead, man. Kalala Yahaba Shem Yahushai. And the scriptures also let us understand that when you shall see these things, lift up your head and see that salvation is near, man. Salvation is near, man. This this period should give you a sort of you know encouragement, joy, saying that the scriptures are coming to pass, man. Let's get another scripture. Now, let's go into the root word of forsake, you know. I just wanted to see. Neither forsake thee, you know. It says, leave off, fail, fortify, help, committed, destitute, refuse, surely, to leave, lose, okay. To leave, to depart from, to leave behind, to let alone. To abandon, to neglect. So the Most High is not going to neglect us, man. The Most High is not going to leave us behind. He's always going to be there for us, as 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 He has said. You know, the Scripture says, "Heaven and earth shall pass, but My words shall remain." You know, the words of the Most High. The Most High is um the Most High is um um where is the word I'm looking for? You know, everything the Most High says. You know. 
I can't remember that word, you know, the apostles always use it, you know. The most high, it goes according to what he says, man. He can't say he's going to do something and not do it. The most high is not man. Let's get another scripture. This is the book of um, Second Esdras, in which I'll get from here. This is the book of Second Esdras, chapter chapter 16 verse 40 which quotes oh my people hear my word make you ready to thy battle and in those evil days be even as pilgrims upon the earth man we're going into battles now man and you see it's also given written in the scriptures you need to put on your pilgrim mode man you need to put on your pilgrim mode and if you go Look at the 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 the, the, um, the definition of a pilgrim. Those are people that move from place to place, man. This is not our home. You can't find rest here. If you decide to take the serpent serum, okay, you keep your job, you keep all your properties, your house, and everything. You know, destruction is still going to come, man. You can't find peace here. So the wise man now is going to be the one that fears the most. Yahweh Hashem Shai and does according to his will and forsakes all these things man you know we're meant to set our hearts on things that are above not things of this of this kingdom man you know we're meant to we're meant to invest you know in spiritual things you know it says there is a scripture that says um oh i'm just paraphrasing that says um lay your treasures above where thieves cannot come where you know moth it moth cannot eat up your, your your treasures man you should set your treasures above where it can get corrupt man but here if you set your treasures here what comes it's going to it's going to it's going to it's going to lose it's going to lose um fashion first of all its fashion is going to go away it's going people are going to steal it from you people are going to destroy it in which destruction is still coming man by the most high yahweh Hashem shai so the wise one wouldn't invest in this kingdom. The wise one would invest in the kingdom to come. Okay. So you know, we the brothers here in Italy, you know, we've all met. Today we, we went out to have a camp. You know, the spirit was heavy. We went to a city where we had a lot of people, you know. People were just looking at us strange, you know. People coming against us. Like if you if, if you don't preach the, the Holy Mary thing here in Italy, man. They don't they don't even listen to you man they curse you out man they sent us um the police okay but luckily enough the spirit the spirit was actually working with us you know we we, we understood what we were and what was going on and we ended the camp and we left that place at the time we were going the police were coming you know we met them on the way you know so a lot of things are about to go on man Esau is showing his own and it's only going to get worse from here man so you guys better get your get your get your thing together man because we the brothers here in italy you know this um this tribulation is starting first from this part of the world okay but we are not complaining we are not complaining we're not telling you oh we're scared or whatever we are trying to you know give you words of encouragement that hey pray for yourself pray for us if you pray for us that's what we would appreciate we would really appreciate the prayers of all the, the Archams, the elders, you know, the apostles, if you would pray for us here, this is what we really need, man. We need your prayer that the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushide should keep giving us a spirit and this spirit should never depart from us. You know, that's how we need the spirits of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. His words, just like the book of Isaiah chapter 33 says, you know, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of that time. Okay? But we are actually talking to you that you should prepare your spirit for such is coming also to you prepare your spirit you know because it is as it came here we're telling you that it's also coming there man so you all should prepare your spirit you know you should you should make your priorities straight man 
it's not time to be to be going after careers or, or whatever just like you know i watched a video this morning of the is isupk you know now they're about to go into the music business man these people don't i don't even know what planet they're living in man <laughs> so anyway i'm going to get one more scripture which is the book of um hebrew 13 5 which i have here already you know so this is the book of hebrew hebrews chapter 13 verse 5 it quotes i'm going to read from the king james it says let your conversation be without covetousness and be content with such things as ye have for he had said, I will never leave thee, nor forsake thee. Okay, and this is also quoting from that book of Deuteronomy that we read first. So I would like to read it from this um, New International Version, you know. It say, keep your lives free from the love of money. The scripture says, the love of money is the root of all evil. And this is going to really be a snare to many people. This is going to be a snare even to many people that are in this truth, man. They don't want to give up their riches in this kingdom. They don't want to give up their jobs. They don't want to give up certain things, man. This is going to be a snare to you. Keep your lives free from the love of money and be content with what you have. Because Yahweh Hashem Yahushaya said, Never will I leave you. Never will I forsake you. The Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai knows all that we need. The Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai knows that we need to eat. He knows that we need to drink. Okay, He's taking us through into this into these times, these times of tribulation, to test us to know who we are. But He knows that we need all these things. So just be sure. Expect miracles, man. Miracles are going to really happen. So there is, this is another translation. It says, don't love money. Be satisfied with what you have. For Yahweh said it. I will never fail you. I will never abandon you. And this is the spirit we should be in. So, you know, we read here, you know, we should be, be even as pilgrims upon the earth, man. Be ready to lose everything, man. Be ready. At the end of the day, if you read the book of um, Ecclesiastical, uh, Ecclesiastes, you know, the first chapter, it tells you vanity upon vanity. Everything is vanity, man. It makes no sense that you're going after all these things that are not going to last forever. So, hey, I just wanted to share this. You know, it's really going down here in Italy. You know, it's really going down, man. These devils are showing their horns, you know. It's beginning, as you can see, from October 15 and remaining force until the end of the year. And we know that's not only, you know. You can see they're going to give us fines, you know, heavy measures, man. If you don't, if you don't follow these laws, man, people are already jumping all around, you know, already scared, you know, trying to sort themselves out with this thing, you know. So, hey, a lot of things are about to happen. A lot of things are about to happen, you know. Put your trust in the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai, and they would never fail you. So, I want to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rukah Kodash. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS who taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth. Shalawam.